Okay, um, item number 10, I had a gentleman come visit me this week, um, or last week, I guess, and this is on the Airy Back Life Team, and, and their proposal is what they, he had two different things, and one of the things, um, one of the things is we pass this ordinance where everybody has to take this out, and then the city would, would build them, and um, we would get 50 cents per person, and then um, and it's kind of hard to make everybody have that. Uh, but they were talking about how expensive it is. They said that the basic cost is usually about 15,000. A lady has used it in total, and it was 30,000. And they said, normally your insurance is not paid very much of it. And so that if we don't make it mandatory, they're wondering if maybe they could. Um, Put it where you could, it would be six dollars a month, you would come out on the water bill, and then we would still get a, a fee of 50 cents a person. But I just want y'all to have the information, and then he could come next the next time to talk to us if we're interested in doing that. Fifteen thousand dollars a client. He said that's the average, and he said most people just assume your insurance is going to pay for most of it, and it does not. Carol. Uh, I mentioned that this is just this is just for area evac. Right. It, you know, a lot of times when, when we have an emergency situation, area evac is not. We, we, when we call into the dispatch, we always call in as the nearest available air uh, air medic, and it may be care flight. If care flight comes, that will not cover. Right. It does not cover care flight, but this is the, the one that is stationed here in Blue So even I'm just saying that even. Sometimes they, they, they may be right. out, or, or if we need two uh, evacs, they may be terrified. Some people don't realize that they think that they that policy works for them. Right, and it, you're right; it does not. And, you know, we're we're pretty loose with the term um, care flight. Right. You know, we just assume any medical um, helicopter is care flight, and you're right; it is not. Thank you. I have to thinking about this after you and I talked about it. This could become a bookkeeping nightmare for us, especially if it's volunteer because they might just pay one month and then the next month they may decide they don't want to pay for it. And we have to let Ari back go who's paid, who hasn't paid, and then that's a lot of work for 50 cents. Yeah, that's, that's all right. That, that's if it's volunteer. If it was mandatory, it would be a different thing. Much easier that volunteer would be very difficult to keep track of. How many taps do we have? Thousand fifty something. Yeah. You're only going to get a volunteer probably 10 to 12 percent of the Yeah, and like I said, one month they may pay for it, and the next month they may not. And really and truly, uh, and you know, I did say we would present it, but. If people were interested, I think it's just um, sixty dollars a year for the whole thing. Yeah. That would be a much easier way to sell it. Right. And if it was <coughs> mandatory, like Daryl was saying, and then they had to use care flight, what do you do then? Right. Because you made this person pay for it, but they didn't get to use it. Right. right. So, or is it kind of a general consensus, and, and we're not voting or anything, but? Do you want me to ask him to come the next time or not? Probably not. I'm not interested in adding to our bills. Oh, you can go up there to the hospital and pay 60 bucks a bill. Right. For the whole year and not have to worry about it. Okay. I think if we make it aware that some of the citizens that it's available, I don't think it's not going to be for the guy. Something like that might put a flyer in a bill, and if somebody wants to do it, they can hire it directly. I think it's $50 for, uh, for an individual and $60 for a family, right? Okay. 